Here are two gems. Number one, you never want to give up a percentage of your surcharge fee to your ATM processing company. They should be giving you 100% of your surcharge profits. Second gem I'm gonna actually drop is that you don't wanna pay or you don't wanna sign a contract. Don't ever sign a contract for your network, for your ATM processing network, okay guys? Promise me that. Now. Guys, my name is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com, and I'm here in the ATMtogether.com studio, guys. This is actually gonna be one of our very first live presentations here inside of ATM Business for Beginners with our new podcast room, guys. Yeah, so you guys are in for a special treat. Like Getum said, we're gonna be talking about these three lessons. Number one, ATM Basics. And then I'm gonna go ahead and transition over to sales, guys. How to talk to business owners. And then lastly, guys, we're gonna have a little intermission. Getum's gonna come in and, and tell you guys some, some valuable things. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for one of the biggest presentations that is gonna be so valuable in 2024 for anyone that's looking to start their ATM business, BTM business, UTM business, and you're looking for secondary source of income, you're trying to, uh, let's say you started your ATM business, but you're trying to make it 100% passive. You're looking to connect with different vendors. You're looking to create your own ATM together. You're looking to actually just start a business to go ahead and try something new in 2024. Guys, as you guys can see, I can hardly talk right now because I'm so excited. I know it's late night, but it, it, hey, it's 8 okay, okay? We're going to spend some valuable time here and go over these valuable information that's going to change your life, guys, okay? So to begin with this live presentation, guys, I actually want to go over the basics of the ATM business. Hey, inside of this group, it is ATM business for beginners, guys. So that's what we're going to go over. We're going to go over the basics. Why? Because so many entrepreneurs... And guys, just to give you a little background on myself, I've lived three different lives. I've worked in corporate America from the age of 21 to 26. Uh, I was a top performer, top 1% uh, salesman, went to uh, district sales manager, had my own team, and then decided to go over into law enforcement, guys, at the age of 26, all the way to age 32, guys. I was uh, in law enforcement for seven years. I worked in one of the most dangerous cities in the United States because I chose to work in one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. I said, if I'm going to be a cop, I'm going to be a cop's cop. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and see everything and experience everything and just get that life experience. And guys, that's exactly what I did. So within a year and a half, uh, probably even less than that, guys, I was voluntold to go into investigations. So, so for five years of my law enforcement career, I was actually a detective. Yeah, I was an investigator. I went into uh, narcotics, uh, special victims. I mean, you name it, I, I probably worked it, guys. So absolutely everything. I, I mean, I, I, I got so much fulfillment of being a first responder. But then the last two years, guys, I was just working so much. And if you've been following me for the past three years, guys, because I haven't been on social media for that long, okay? I started, I, I came back onto social media uh, back towards the end of 2020 and then uh, officially launched ATM together in January of 2021 around my birthday, a couple of days right before my birthday. And I decided that I wanted to share my life experience with the entire world, with anybody who is an average guy like me that wants to start a business, a simple business, and that's what we've created for thousands of people in the United States and in Canada, guys. We haven't expanded internationally, um, but we are trying to do that as well for next year, for 2024. So mind you, if you're watching this in another country, just stand by to stand by because we got you, okay? With that being said, I went ahead and I transitioned out. Why? How was I able to do this? ATMs was my vehicle. Okay, guys? ATMs didn't make me a multimillionaire my first year. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted, guys. Okay? I became a millionaire based off of my hard work of actually working a 9-to-5, guys. And for many of you, you guys might be like, well, that's different. That's actually probably uh, the first business guy or business guru online that's actually saying he became a millionaire off of working a nine to five. It, it's true, guys. Okay. Everything that I've gone through in my life, uh, my post, if you guys follow me on Instagram, on Paul Alex, if you guys have been following me here on Facebook, um, if you guys ever checked any of my podcasts, my story does not 
change because I've lived it. It's as real as it gets. And now in my mid-30s, guys, I'm here to even provide more value. Because why? The more you earn, the more, uh, sorry, the more you learn, the more you earn, guys. And that's facts, okay? Self-education is key. Mindset is key. And just going ahead and taking imperfect action, it is key. Now, with that being said, I started with my first six ATMs, guys. Didn't do that well. By my third month, was able to generate $3,000. Within 18 months, was able to go from uh, the six to the 30 ATMs, which then made me financially free, covered my bills. At that time, my bills total in the San Francisco Bay Area and law enforcement and having a million dollar home in one of the best neighborhoods in the Bay Area, I was paying roughly around $6,500 for my bills, okay? But because of ATMs, a side hustle that I decided to invest in, a side hustle that I decided, man, this is the black and white business. Why can't I do it? There's nothing special about these guys. I mean, I know sales. I know how to talk to people. I got the charisma. So why not? I just put myself out there, guys. That's all I did. I built this business on the weekends, made me financially free. It went from working 80 to 100 hours to 40 hours. And then from there, guess what? Guess what? I decided to start other businesses because that's the type of person I am. I love to work. You know, a lot of people get joy off of playing golf. A lot of people get joy off playing sports. A lot of people uh, uh, get joy off playing Netflix. Guys, I like to build businesses. I like to provide value. I like to give the average person here in America, because I think it's one of the greatest countries ever, the opportunity to be more in life. Okay, because trust me, I've worked as a glorified dish machine repairman to a police officer to to now a multimillionaire that has built multiple businesses that have given dozens of people jobs. And that, I, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping, guys. In my mid 30s, I'm in my prime and I want to take over the world. That's just the mindset you need to have. Okay, but it all started with simple businesses. Okay, now. If you're currently watching this, kudos to you because you are spending your Tuesday night here with us at ATM together, and we appreciate you, okay? We are about H2H, human-to-human -human interaction, guys. We're about actually going ahead and reaching out to folks and talking to people, having real conversations. That's why people relate to us. It's, it's not only the background, guys, that I was a first responder, that I was in corporate America. No, I'm an average Joe. So that's why people, they, they love the concept of the ATM business because they're like, dude, it's so simple. It's so simple. It's, it's, it's almost a no-brainer offer, which is true, which is true. You just have to put a little bit of effort. You have to self-educate a little bit, and you're able to go ahead and make it for what you want it to be, guys, whether you want it to be a sustainable source of income, a secondary source of income, or you want to grow it to the moon and then invest in other businesses, which then you can become financially free with this vehicle. And then from there, guess what? You can build other businesses or you can enjoy buying back your time, guys. And that's what it's about, okay? So let's go into the basics of the actual ATM business, guys. So if I was to go ahead and actually start the ATM business once again, this is exactly the step-by-step -step system that I would do if I was trying to get into the ATM business and I didn't have a mentor. I haven't self-educated myself yet. I, uh, I Let's say I have less than 10 grand. This is the exact blueprint that you will want to do. But I'm going to tell you this. Be forewarned. You're going to have to put in some work. Nothing in life comes free, guys. Nothing in life comes free. But I am going to give you the system of exactly how to do this. Okay? So, LLC. As you guys can see right here, on every single one of the pillars, there's five pillars right now. I actually put something in parentheses because, look, guys, it's very important. With LLC, when we all start a business, we actually get very excited, right? How many of you guys have said uh, to your, either your spouse, your parents, uh, your family member, your coworkers, and you're like, hey, I've, I've figured out like a very simple business concept, and it's a great opportunity for me to actually invest into because it's a low barrier and it's very low risk. What do you guys think? And how many of you guys have gotten um, actual family members, somebody close to you, like totally rain down on your brain? Like we're talking about like they're just 
totally destroy your dream, your vision, what you guys actually want to do in life. And it doesn't have to be with ATMs. It could be with just anything in general. It could be with just you trying to be more proactive about your finances or you trying to better your health or you trying to get fit. You know, in 2024, I love the New Year's because everybody always makes a commitment to go ahead and actually get fit, to actually go get that six pack, to go ahead and hit the gym. That's why whenever we go to the gym, right? And I say we, I'm talking about me and my team because we believe in health is wealth, okay? Not only making finances, but you also got to take care of yourself, especially as you get older, guys. But when we go to the gym, we always notice in the beginning of every year, the gyms are packed, super packed, right? And then by March, it completely drops off, completely drops off because people go off momentum. People go off motivation. And I understand that. I've been like that my entire life, guys. But something inside of me changed when I was in law enforcement. I actually got sick of the matrix, okay? And I use the matrix now because that's I, I feel like that's what everyone loves to use as matrix calling about the nine to five grind, okay? I was not tired about being a police officer. I was not tired about being a first responder. I was not tired about helping people. I was tired of working for someone else. I was tired of sitting in traffic for two hours. I was tired of looking like I was 10 years older than what I really looked like because the amount of sleep, stress, and just overall health um, concerns that I had because I was working 80 to 100 hours. So I had to do something about that. I had to make a change because without change, nothing is going to change in your life. No matter how many books you read, no matter how much courses you guys read, no matter how much time you spend on YouTube, if you take all that information and don't do anything with it, guess what? That's called analysis paralysis. Guess what? That's called being a victim and having a victim mindset by saying, well, it didn't work out for me. I just educated myself on it and I don't think I could do it. No, you are better than that. I'm better than that. My team is better than that. Every single one of my clients have proven they are better than that because they've actually gone ahead and taken the biggest step when it comes into entrepreneurship. And what does that mean? That means that they go ahead and took imperfect action. Imperfect action is what will release you in life. It will set you free from the chains of the matrix, guys. That is the reality of life. Right now, so many people are suffering. They're suffering. And I had this conversation on a Zoom call yesterday with a couple of other entrepreneurs from all over the world. And they were like, Paul, man, you're so passionate on how you talk about financial freedom. You're so passionate about how you talk about ATMs. Dude, like, what, what's so special about ATMs? It's not the fact that I'm passionate about ATMs, guys. ATMs is a very simple business. ATMs was my vehicle to actually help me. It's just another choice to go ahead and give you to go ahead and, and actually become free, okay? It's just a choice. You don't have to do ATMs. But what, what I like to express to you, what I like to tell people is pick one thing that you believe will work for you because everybody's different. Everybody in this world is different. Not everybody is born the same. You have to believe in yourself. That's what comes with mindset, which I'm getting ahead of the game, guys, because we're going to jump into mindset right here in the sales, okay? And if you guys are liking this, go ahead, make sure you guys blow up the comment, okay? It, the comments. It helps with the algo. It helps us push the group more to people that need help. This is a real community for real entrepreneurs, for family people, for people that are looking to get inspired and to actually do something about it, guys. We're not here trying to stay static, just trying to be here and make you feel good. No, we're giving you actual information and value that you guys can go ahead and execute. So let's go ahead. LLC guys, speed and mindset. We just talked about mindset. Let's talk about speed. Now you're motivated. I'm telling you right now, one thing that actually delayed the gratification of launching my ATM was not executing the LLC when I said, I'm ready to start a business. As soon as you made that decision, that decision to go ahead and actually launch your business, you need to jump online right now, which you probably are on your phone or on your computer, and you need to go to inkfile.com. 
Go to inkfile.com. And if you don't know how to actually go through the process, like a step-by-step -step to this website, I highly recommend that you go through the archives of our guides section of this group and look at the previous lives that my COO, Geram Yonis, did. He's done several, several step-by-step -step walkthroughs of this website, guys. The reason why I'm telling you to do this now is because this right now is an ancillary option to you unless you have major pain or you are already a proactive person. For majority of the people, why do you think not everybody has a Lamborghini? Why everybody doesn't have a Ferrari? Why everybody doesn't have the option to fly in first class? And I'm not talking about material things. I'm talking about options. This goes deeper into material things. This goes into mindsets, okay? And the reason why I'll tell you this, because the people that are successful and have those options, guys, what I have learned from going from zero to 100 to actually 1,000, we're talking about fuel, we're running in here, is the fact that I'm willing to do what most people can't do or not willing to do. The reason why get him successful is because he's willing to do what most people can't do or willing to do. The reason why Emilio is successful. Emilio right now, he's running the entire thing. What's up, Emilio? What's popping? <laughs> Young kid, 22 years old, working with multimillionaires. Who wouldn't want that opportunity at the age that he's at? It's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise because he's willing to do what most people can't do or won't do. And that's what's wrong with most entrepreneurs that do not succeed. They're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to execute and do imperfect action to get the LLC done, even if it costs a few more bucks. Okay, guys? So you have two options here, guys. All right, let's slow it down real quick. LLC, you could go to your state website, or you can go to Ink File. That's gonna be I N C F I L E dot com. Okay. You can get this expedited. This is why I'm talking about speed and mindset, guys. You're motivated right now. You're like, dude, this poor guy, man, he got me pumped. I got that fire inside of me, right? Cool. I love that. You gotta use that momentum. Momentum. Just like at your, you're at the gym and you're pumped, right? Hey, go, go bust out a couple more reps. So, mindset, speed. Get it done, Ink File or state, uh, your, your local state website to get your LLC. Also, do not pay extra to get your EIN, guys. Uh, you can get the EIN for free at irs.gov, okay? So that knocks out number one. Let's go to the bank, all right? With bank, education. And I'm not talking about just edu educating yourself, but you got to educate the folks at the bank. So look, when you go into entrepreneurship, guys, not everybody is going to be a subject matter expert. If you ask the opinion of, let's say, your parents, but your parents were always working. They were blue-collar folks, just like my parents. And you go in there and you're like, hey, mom, what do you think about this idea? You cannot, you cannot ask the advice of someone who has not reached the level that you want to get, be at. Okay? You cannot go to someone with your million-dollar idea that hasn't made a million dollars. That's facts. Go ahead and comment facts down in the comments below, guys. Comment facts, okay? F-A-C-T-S, facts. Now, I'm not saying I didn't listen to my mom. I listened to my mom. I love my mom. She was a hard worker. But there was a few things that my mom would recommend that didn't make sense to me, especially when I was trying to level up, which is why I always tell people, well, this is the reason why I became the first millionaire. Not only millionaire, but multi-millionaire in my family. Now I take care of everybody. I take care of my entire family. I give people jobs. I give them opportunity. That's what life is about. It's about your why. My family is my why. So what I want you to do right now, as you guys are listening to, to this toward, total breakdown, I want you to actually comment down in the comments below. What is your why? Why are you here? Why are you thinking of starting a business? Whether you're watching the live right now or you're watching the replay, I really want you to think about that because the money is not going to push you. Guys, we've had clients that have made thousands a month from our program and our machines with our help, okay? You get a high level of support from us. That doesn't matter because once you make the money, what else? What's the next level? 
And what's the next level once you make that goal? Whether you make a million, whether you make a few million, you have to have something else that's gonna push you. And that's your why, it's your family, okay? So with the bank, you need to educate yourself. The issue in 2023 and in 2024 nowadays with the bank is most banks will not go ahead and allow you to open a business checking account for your ATM business, unfortunately. Why? Because you're a competitor. And also, it's a high risk level type of business. What does that mean? Because it deals with cash, guys. You guys ever watch Narcos on Netflix? You guys ever ever watch um, any of those uh, criminal investigation shows, okay? They always talk about money laundering, right? With cash, unfortunately, you have a few bad apples that have money laundered through ATMs and that ruin it for everybody else. Also, a combination of the internet, having these gurus sometimes that are not really supposed to be out there, you know, instructing folks. They don't even know what they're doing sometimes, but they're telling people like, hey, go open a personal checking account. Hey, go ahead and, and do your own thing. Um, you know, lie, lie to the bankers. You guys don't do that. Don't ever do that. That's the fastest way to get blacklisted from the actual banks, okay? So you always want to be transparent. You always want to tell the truth, okay? And just because I was a former law enforcement officer, I'll be, oh, don't listen to him. It's because he's a cop. He's going to tell you to be transparent and have integrity. No, guys, that's the way you need to live your life, okay? It comes around. Karma is real, guys. So make sure you're very trans transparent with the bank. The only thing you guys got to tell them, I'm going to give you guys the golden nugget right now, okay? This is a gift from me to you, early Christmas gift. Write this down. The only thing you need to tell the banker is, I want to open a business checking account to collect my commissions from my ATM. Once again, all you have to tell the banker is, I want to open a business checking account to collect my commissions from my ATM. That's it. No more explanation, guys. That's all you need to tell them. Now. What bank do you go to? It really depends because this is inter this is a national, guys. So people are watching this from New York to California, from Texas, everywhere. So what you want to do is go ahead and actually, um, you want to go on Yelp. You want to go on Google. You want to go ahead and print out a list. I would recommend getting about 50 to 100 banks, local banks. You want to try credit unions. Stay away from the big three. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase. Why? Because I have the experience, guys. I still do business with these banks. I have several, several business checking accounts and several businesses that I always talk to the bankers. I talk to the regional sales managers. I've talked to everybody, I have even VPs. And what they tell me, they're like, Paul, you know, we wish we can help your clients. We wish we can open uh, business checking accounts for ATM deployers, but unfortunately, they are our competitor. So it would be conflict of interest, and we can't do that. Unfortunately, corporate doesn't let us. So what I would recommend, guys, that you guys go to credit unions, go to smaller banks that will accept you. Not everybody's going to accept you, but you will get a yes if you are informed and you educate the banker. Okay, go in there properly. Make sure that you are squared away with your documentation, your LLC, your EIN. Even a business card helps, guys. It looks professional. Also, this is key. Now that we stop talking about the bank and educating the banker and yourself, let's go into the ATM um, supplier and processing, guys, which in parentheses it says trust and service. Now, before we get started on that, okay, for the bank to finish that off, you have to get a processing agreement from your ATM supplier and processing company, guys, okay? So you have to go ahead and actually ask them when you're buying your ATM, tell them like, look, hey, I need to open a bank account. Can you provide me with an ATM processing agreement so I could go ahead and provide that documentation to the bank? This is key, guys. It's gonna make your life so much easier and the approval of your business checking account is gonna go up by 50% guaranteed, okay guys? And the reason why I know this is because we open about 50 plus bank accounts. We don't personally open, but we refer our clients, our personal clients to 50 plus banks, which they get approved, okay guys? Some, they'll get approved in a day. Others, they have to wait a month. It depends on what state you guys are at, okay? So 
Let's get into ATM processing and trust and service, guys. At the end of the day, guys, you guys can get an ATM in 2023 and 2024, standard traditional ATM that holds about um, 1,000 notes, meaning uh, 1,000 $20 bills, like a Hayusun Halo 2. You can get it for around $2,300. With shipping, probably around $2,500. And then your uh, internet modem box, it'll be like around $150. Your internet for the actual machine, which you need dedicated internet for the machine, it'll probably be around seven, eight bucks. And then um, if you want to get a location, you guys can get a third party service to go ahead and do that for a few thousand dollars. And then the training, it really depends on who your ATM processing uh, company, ATM supplier is, because at the end of the day, I always tell people this, going with the cheapest person or the most low cost company or low cost, let's say, um, uh, supplies for your business is not always good. You always want to go off of reviews. You want to go off of what I like to say, the um, uh, due diligence, okay? And how do you go due diligence with ATM suppliers and processing? Well, you, you check online, guys. You check their background. Like for us, for example, ATM Together, I'm the founder. You guys can easily find me everywhere. You can Google Paul Alex ATM, ton of reviews, dozens of reviews, thousands of clients, guys. I mean, we really take a lot, a lot of, you could say, um, we provide a lot of value to our clients and out of our clients to the general public where we're educating them, not only on ATMs, but other businesses as well. People, they get along with us. They communicate with us. We actually have employees, over 50 employees. So at the end of the day, us, we're a mid-sized business that we're able to have the resources to provide you that high level of support. So at the end of the day, when you guys are looking at ATM suppliers and processing companies, you really got to ask, how many clients do you currently have? How many mentees do you currently have? How many people are you actually helping? Is it just you? How many employees do you have? This is huge because at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you this. I started as a solopreneur, like most of you will, okay? Um, when you're a, a, a solopreneur, okay, you lack time, you lack resources, you lack energy especially at what age you're at. In my 20s, I was able to do it. Um, I had a lot more energy back then. Mid-30s, you start to slow down, right? So depending on what you're doing, you might have a 95, you might have a family, you will more than likely want to check the ATM supplier and processing to make sure they're going to provide you with exactly what you need. Majority of people nowadays, they don't have the time to invest into the business, but they have the money, okay? So one or two things is going to give up in business and investing and in entrepreneurship. It's either you're going to go ahead and pay a higher figure, a uh, higher investment of, um, <clears throat> of, of the business. You're going to go ahead with a higher investment, but more than likely, you're not going to have to invest as much time. So it's more semi-passive or passive, depending on what business or what service you're in. Or you can go the other route, which I'm talking about right now. You can do it yourself. Yes, it's going to be a uh, lower cost with the materials, the supplies, but you're going to invest either hundreds or even thousands of hours trying to get your business up and running, guys. And that's just full transparency because I've been there. Okay. So make sure that you do your due diligence with your ATM supplier and your processing company, guys. It comes down to trust and service. If they're really giving you a hard time and you're trying to buy a service from them or a product, that's a red flag automatically, guys right before you even start, right? So you want to make sure that you do your due diligence, do your homework so you guys are not mad about who you're doing business with. Also, here are two gems. Actually, go ahead and comment gems down in the comment below, guys. Get ready. Pump me up for this, okay? G-E-M-S. Now, the two gems I am going to provide you guys, and this comes from personal experience, is the fact that, number one, I had to pay my processing company back when I first started a few years ago. Um, I had to pay them a percentage of my surcharge fee. This is a no-no, guys. You never want to give up a percentage of your surcharge fee to your ATM processing company. They should be giving you 100% of your surcharge profits. You're probably wondering, well, how they're making money. At the end of the day, I'm going to keep this very simplified for rookies right now. There is such thing as called interchange fees, which the bank pay them a few cents per transaction per client in their processing network. Their processing network, this is handled by an ISO, independent sales organization, which is more than likely going to be 
the ATM processing company, ATM supplier. I recommend always getting your ATM from whoever's providing you the network, okay? With that being said, the second gem I'm gonna actually drop for you guys, you guys ready for this? I'm excited, is I signed a three-year contract, which I ended up paying $7,000 after my first year, guys, after I got a mentor, um, after I went ahead and actually wised up. Uh, and I was just like, you know what? Uh, this is not right. They're taking a large chunk of my money. I need to get out of this contract. Well, in the contract, unfortunately, I said I had paid fees, which I did. I opted out. And then that's when I was able to go ahead and scale my business. So the second gem for you guys, especially as rookies right now, beginners, um, is that you don't want to pay or you don't want to sign a contract. Don't ever sign a contract for your network, for your ATM processing network. Okay, guys, promise me that. Now, the fourth thing we're going to talk about is training. And this goes into the really sales and the tech portion of the ATM business, guys. At the end of the day, I believe 110% that anyone could do this business. But you could do it the right way or you could do it the wrong way, guys. And for many people, they can be prideful when it comes to entrepreneurship and their, their level of skill, right? I'm going to give you a great example. I'm going to use me for an example, guys. I come from corporate America. I sold over $20 million worth of product and services for my first company, okay? Not my company, but the company I worked for in corporate America. Now, I'm in so much skills over the past six years. I was a district manager. I ran, uh, I ran sales folks. I knew how to talk to people and present. So that's why when I picked the ATM business when I was in law enforcement, I was like, you know what? Let me throw on my old suit. You know, I got the dust off it. And I went and went ahead and landed six locations within two weeks. I thought I was the shit. <laughs> I thought I had it made, guys. I was like, dude, I'm about to run it up. I'm about to like run the ATM industry. I'm going to do all this. It's going to be cool. And little, little did I know, guys, it takes a little bit of strategy and know-how to find the exact locations and also how to uh, actually articulate and know what type of deals to work out with the merchants. And that's exactly what I didn't know because of pride. You could be prideful or you could be rich. That's what me and a lot of my teammates here at ATM Together always say. That's why when it comes to being pride in business, guys, we let egos go. We want to work as a team, as a tribe, and provide so much value to our clients that they're winning. A lot of people are like, but don't, don't you want all the locations for yourself? Why? <laughs> guys, I live in Florida. I used to live in, in, in California. At the end of the day, I'm not going to fly into Montana. I'm not going to fly into Texas. I'm not going to fly into uh, Canada. Why don't I just help other people, uh, allow them to become financially free, and then they're giving me kudos like you guys see online, and they're like, dude, Paul's information and his systems and his resources actually work, and this is awesome. And then it's a ripple effect. More people find out, hey, this is actually the real deal. I actually get the support. I've changed my mindset. It's changed my life. All that jazz, and then it's just a ripple effect, and it keeps going and going and going, and turns into a machine, guys. That's just the way business is. A lot of people don't understand that concept, right? They understand like, hey, dude, why don't you just get all the business for yourself and become greedy and just be this multimillionaire with just ATMs, guys? Work smarter, not harder, right? You got to do what works in your life, and everybody's completely different, okay? So, I would recommend investing in knowledge. Knowledge is huge. Actually, typically I would put training before I even put the LLC. But I figured that LLC is so easy to do, guys. A fifth grade can do it. That every single one of you, if you're serious right now, you could go ahead and knock this out. You could go into the archives of the guide section, look up LLC walkthrough with Getem. He breaks it down within an hour, guys. And you can do that tonight. You could do it by Christmas. And guess what? Now you got momentum. You got momentum, guys. You could go ahead and knock it out. Now, with training, this could be combined with ATM and processing network. It should be the same company, guys. It, it really should. It should be the same company. So if they're providing you the training, the actual help, the high-level support, that's a great company to work with. That's what you want. Majority of ATM companies out there that provide the ATM, the processing, they don't have the staff. They don't have the time. They'll promise you that in the beginning, but they, they realistically, they don't. They don't have employees. It's typically solo entrepreneur operations, guys, okay? So just beware. Now, location. 
comes down to the reps and the mindset, guys. Once again, reps and the mindset. Now we're going to be talking about sales. So I'm going to mix the location to help you guys with the strategy of how to get phenomenal locations. Even if you already have ATMs from competitors, guys, at the end of the day, this is business. So you need to provide so much value. You need to provide so much foundation and you need to educate all of your clients where they love you. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and how it's worked with me, how I've been able to build a multiple eight figure business, how I've been able to build a multiple seven figure business and how I've been able to build multiple six figure businesses, not only for myself, but for my clients as well. Well, the clients that actually take imperfect action and actually follow through with scaling their businesses, guys. Not only this, but I run multiple companies. I'm a founder of multiple companies, and I'm going to continue to build multiple companies. That's when I'm going into 2024, guys. At the end of the day, you're only going to limit yourself. Don't limit yourself, guys. Life is too short, and you never want to regret anything, when you're, especially when you're older, okay? Think about that. So we'll talk more about locations in the sale portion, guys, because I don't want to run out of time here. I still got two lessons to go to. Man, this is phenomenal information. Emilio, how are we looking? Looking good. All right. Guys, so I actually want to provide so much value on this live. Go ahead and comment when. Comment when right now, guys. I have my team members right now checking out the comments. I have my consultants checking out the comments. I have get them checking out the comments. Whoever comments when. We're actually going to give you this very special cheat sheet that's going to lay out all of the steps that you need so you can get ahead of the game before 2024, guys. And the first thing I want you to do, you don't have to promise it to me. Promise it to yourself. If you're serious about starting a business, go ahead. Knock out that LLC. It's going to take some time, guys. All right? All right. Let's go ahead and get into mindset, guys. Okay? Now, with locations... The ATM business is all about location, 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 guys, okay? And when it comes down to it, with locations, it's very important to not only educate yourself, but...